Hey everybody, just wanted to shoot a quick video of my Garami tank here. Recently I've been talking about one of my Corydoras catfish that keeps hovering around the surface. It either lays up in the vegetation or it hovers right along literally at the very water's edge uh, up by the water line. And I've been kind of wondering what's going on. I did not suspect that I was running uh, the tank too warm and I didn't really think that we were running into low oxygen levels and low oxygen levels uh, can be one of the reasons you will find fish sort of lingering around near the surface of the water but when that's the case it's usually all of the fish that are lingering near the surface if you've got fish that are capable of sort of capturing some air and then swimming back down to the bottom they will generally do that, and quarries can do that. If they are in low oxygenated water, they can sort of go up to the surface and gulp air. In fact, if you've got any quarries, you'll see them doing that all the time. They just do it sort of habitually. And that's not what I'm seeing. This one just kind of lingers around the surface like it's doing now. It will even swim upside down and sort of graze along the surface like it's an upside down catfish, like it's a Cynodontus and not a Corydorus. And the odd thing is, is I have two other Corydoras in here, both of the same species. I apologize for all the glare. This is a very impromptu video. I've been trying and trying uh, to get a good look at this Cory up near the surface since I added this airstone. And that's the whole point to this video. I wanted to just double check and be sure that it is not a matter of low oxygen levels in this tank because that can be devastating even if it's on the edge you know if it just goes a little too far I come down in the morning to a bunch of dead fish uh, I've had stuff like that happen in the past so just to be on the safe side I decided I was going to go ahead and put an air stone in there and that's a very vigorous air stone that is actually for a hundred gallon tank I believe or up to a hundred gallon tank uh, here in this 55 plus I've got the circulation from the power head back there and then of course I've got it's not a ton of water circulation but you can see how I've got the power head I mean the uh, spray bar gives me that degree of surface agitation and that's just how the tank is normally set up so between all of that and then adding the air stone there's absolutely no way this tank is running low on oxygen and if I'm not mistaken the temperature should be right around 79 or 80 degrees maybe 81 um, you know, if it gets a little warm down here and while that again is getting kind of warm and you are getting in that area, that territory where you're getting a little bit, uh, warm for the oxygen, you're still not to where you're, you're running the oxygen out of the tank. You know, you get up to 85 degrees. Now you're running the oxygen out of the water. I'm nowhere near that. And so putting the airstone in there was just sort of a, uh, almost a double check just to see would that affect that quarry and would it stop it from swimming around near the surface and for the first two days I have not seen it near the surface and I was beginning to think that possibly it's the oxygen maybe it was you know low oxygen levels but the thing is that quarry every time I saw it near the surface it was always down at this end and it was always hiding in the bushes there so when I put this air stone in I basically put that right where the quarry used to hang out you know it's pushed all of the the plant materials all pushed away and so basically this little hangout spot has been destroyed and so I was wondering is that why I'm not seeing it near the surface because it doesn't have its spot to hang out anymore and after a day and a half I finally got my answer when I walked in uh, I actually just came in here to feed everybody and I saw that quarry where we just saw it and I was able to get it on video and show you that it's just that quarry. I don't know why, but that quarry seems to like being up near the surface of the tank. I clearly don't have any uh, issues with low oxygen. And now that we've put that airstone in there, we've absolutely ruled out the idea that that quarry is looking for uh, oxygen. So, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe that fish just likes hanging out near the surface or something. Maybe it finds better food up there. I have no idea. But... There you go. So that was it. That was the whole point of the video. I just wanted to get it on record that I have put an air stone in this tank. And we are still seeing that quarry up near the top of the tank and up near the surface of the water. At least until I start shouting at it and standing right here in front of it. And I kind of chased it back down. But 
it's not the oxygen levels in the tank. So I'm going to just chalk it up to that's a weird quarry that just likes hanging out near the surface. You know, who am I to judge? So anyway, I'm going to say thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. That way you won't miss anything that's coming up. Don't forget this one here is my 55-gallon Gourami tank. And I will see you real soon in the next one. Thanks again.